Regelmäßige Verben, regular verbs. Before we start today's practice, I want to tell you about one more rule which is related to pronunciation. I call it the additional E. Whenever you have a verb which has a stem which ends in T or D, you have to insert an additional E in front of the personal ending. Let's see the examples arbeiten und finden. I will give you the conjugation for arbeiten first. It is ich arbeite, du arbeitest, because it would be impossible to pronounce du arbeitest. Yeah? It is du arbeitest, er arbeitet, because you cannot say er arbeitet. Okay? Wir arbeiten, ihr arbeitet again, and sie arbeiten. Ich arbeite, du arbeitest, er arbeitet, wir arbeiten, ihr arbeitet, sie arbeiten. Can you repeat that? Mm -hmm. And now finden. Ich finde. Du findest, because you couldn't say du findst, du findest, er findet, wir finden, ihr findet, sie finden. Ich finde, du findest, er findet, wir finden, ihr findet, sie finden. Can you say that? Sehr gut. Okay, now we will do the exercise which is similar to one we've done before. I will give you the infinitive of a new German word. You can read the English translation and then I will give you a short English sentence with a subject, a pronoun and a verb and I want you to translate it into German. We'll start with Baden. Can you repeat Baden? Okay, how do you say he Bathes. Yeah, if you paid attention, you said er badet. Baden has a stem which ends in D and you cannot say er badet. You have to insert an additional E. Er badet. Good. Berichtigen. Say that. Berichtigen. Okay, and how do you say you, one person, you correct? Mm -hmm. Du berichtigst. Bezahlen. Uh -huh. How do you say you, several people, you guys, you pay? Yeah, ihr bezahlt. And dauern, it means to last when you talk about a period of time. Yeah, dauern. Okay, and it lasts. Yeah, es dauert. And here is an example for a verb where the infinitive doesn't have this typical en ending. There's just an N, but dauern behaves just like all the other verbs with the EN infinitive. When you want to conjugate it, instead of taking off EN, you just take off the N. Yeah? So dauern, es dauert. The next one is feiern, another one with just an N in the infinitive. Feiern. Mm -hmm. How do you say we celebrate? Wir feiern. Sehr gut. Now, funktionieren. It's to work for machines or processes. Funktionieren. Yeah, how do you say it works? Mm -hmm. Es funktioniert. Gut. Kochen. 
Uh -huh. And you guys, plural, cook, you cook. Mm -hmm. Ihr kocht, good. Kosten. They cost. Yeah. Sie kosten. Lachen. Lachen. And we laugh. Mm -hmm. Wir lachen. Good. Lieben. And I love. Uh -huh. Ich liebe. Organisieren. They organize. Uh -huh. Sie organisieren. Reisen. She travels. Ja, sie reist. Schreiben. Mm -hmm. We write. Ja, wir schreiben. Telefonieren. That's to be on the phone, to talk on the phone. It doesn't mean to call. It's to be actually in the phone call. Telefonieren. Mm -hmm. And I am on the phone. Good. And the last one is weinen. And you singular cry. Yeah. Du weinst. Okay, sehr gut. Now let's do another short exercise. I want you to tell me which pronoun is correct. I will give you some sentences where the beginning is missing. The pronoun is missing. So I want you to give me all the possibilities that you can find that you could put in front of that sentence. Yeah, there can be one possibility or several possibilities. I will first read the sentence to you with the blank. And then I will give you time to say the whole sentence out loud one more time. And then I will give you the correct answer. The first one is <laughs> Feiert Geburtstag. What can you say? It could be er feiert Geburtstag or sie feiert Geburtstag, es feiert Geburtstag oder ihr feiert Geburtstag. Did you get that right? Yeah? Okay, the next one. <laughs> Baden im See. It could be either wir baden im See or sie baden im See, the plural. Hm? Berichtigst die Aufgabe. Yeah, for the ST ending there is only one possibility. Du berichtigst die Aufgabe. Hm? Dusche jeden Tag. Yeah, there is also just one possibility for the ending I. Ich dusche jeden Tag. Hm? Fotografiert die Statue. That could be, 
Er fotografiert die Statue, sie fotografiert die Statue, es fotografiert die Statue oder ihr fotografiert die Statue. Hm? Funktioniert nicht. Doesn't work. You could say, er funktioniert nicht, referring to masculine machines, for example. Sie funktioniert nicht oder es funktioniert nicht. You cannot say ihr, because you wouldn't use that verb talking about you guys, addressing several people. Yeah? And the last one, telefonieren immer. Yeah, either wir telefonieren immer oder sie telefonieren immer. Sehr gut. Hi, don't forget to like my video and to subscribe to my channel. And also check out my website, germantogo.com. Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal.